Today I'm going to show you how I would use B0 to create a no-code landing page from scratch with no designs. In case we haven't met before, my name is Elizabeth Lynn and I'm an independent product designer and educator. I've trained designers at companies like Notion and Slack how to use AI in their workflows. We'll be building a landing page for a fictional product called Teleport, the world's first on-demand teleportation service. So let's start with a simple prompt without any content and see what V0 comes up with. Notice how in my original prompt, I'm pretty clear about the different assets and elements that I want to see on my landing page. More clarity like this can always help you lead to a better result. Here are the results. So from a design perspective, it feels a little bit dated because of the use of gradients and the dark purple. However, it did capture all the different elements that I requested here. And so now we just have to iterate and kind of see where we go. I'm gonna ask for three requests. One, to use dark mode. Two, to make the gradients 100 times more subtle. Right now, I feel like they are too loud. And three, reduce the number of colors on the page in general. Right now, there are a lot of colors and I'm kind of curious how it'll take direction and make it more minimal. Let's go ahead and preview this in full screen. So notice how based on my prompt, it's completely removed all the color and now the design is purely grayscale. I actually think from a design perspective, it works a little better because everything is more consistent, but maybe we can try to embed some more personality into this design. So now I'm gonna try asking for three other things. So use a neon green for all the action items, use only one shade of black for the entire background, and then change the font to be space grotesque. And so now I've kind of narrowed it down to more specific requests and hopefully based on this direction, the website will kind of be looking more like something that I'm excited about for my brand. And here is the result of that prompt. Notice how I changed everything to be one shade of black so that it feels a little bit more consistent and the neon pop of green adds a little bit more personality. Also, if you really don't like the output, you can go ahead and try again. A lot of times results will vary when it comes to using AI. And so maybe if you try again, the design results will be better and something that is more in tune with what you're looking for. So notice how this one looks pretty similar to the one that we had before, but structurally is a little bit different. There's a slightly different gradient, and this one has also added a image at the top of the page that I can replace with a product screenshot. So I kind of want to save this template for later, and so I'm going to go ahead and click on this button up here for into a new chat so that I can continue exploring, but also preserve the original version just in case I want to revisit it later. Next, we're going to replace all the copy on the page with custom copy. And so if you have all this copy, you can go ahead and paste it into the V0 chat. V0 can handle it all. The copy I'm using today is courtesy of Claude, edited by me. So I'm going to go ahead and press return for this prompt here. So after that one prompt, all the copy that I want is immediately on the website, which is really great. I didn't have to manually type in anything. If you're scared of starting from scratch, you can also take a screenshot of an existing landing page and use it as a reference for V0 to follow. For example, if you want your landing page to look like the Vercel landing page, you can paste a screenshot in the chat and say, make my landing page look like this screenshot. Notice how fast V0 was able to recreate the Vercel landing page style based on a screenshot alone. You can also send multiple screenshots as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a screenshot where this rainbow gradient is featured and see if V0 can make it happen. My prompt is make my landing page look like a mix of these screenshots. So I basically sent three different screenshots and I want my website to look like a mix of those. Great, so you'll notice that because I introduced a new screenshot, the design has modified slightly so that now I see these gradients instead of having everything be in black and white. If you like a specific thing in one of the images you're sharing, you can also point to it specifically and ask V0 to try to implement that specific thing. If you're feeling adventurous, you can also use random images as inspiration. So I pulled these from public work by Cosmos. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put this image and this image in the V0 chat and then kind of see how it interprets these images. I think it might have ignored my first image, but you'll notice that it took elements of the color palette from this image and tried to translate the gradient background here into the gradient background in my website. If you like the ethos or design style of a specific company, you can also ask V0 to reference those as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try design my landing page to look like something a staff designer at Apple and Stripe would like. And so let's see what happens. Here's the result. If you're curious what V0 is thinking, always read the chat. So here it's saying that the Apple inspired elements are the generous white space and the subtle animations and transitions and the clean minimal design language. There's also a big focus on typography as well. And for Stripe, it's the color palette, the use of cards and shadows. And so I think this purple is probably like an homage to Stripe, even though it's a different type of purple. And then I can definitely see the references from Apple for the typography. 
If you're not sure what visual language you want your landing page to go with, you can also ask V0 to use the Shad CN library. Basically, it looks like this. It's fairly generic and also very customizable. I would say it's a very, very good starting point. So here's what the site looks like if I ask it to only use Shad CN. Now that I have the starting point, I went ahead and asked V0, what are visual styles that you're comfortable implementing? If you're not sure where to start, asking V0 first can give you a list of options. So here are some categories that I brought up. It's talking about specific design systems and UI libraries. You'll notice that Shad CN is listed first. I think this is the most common UI library right now, and so many people use it, and so it's fairly comfortable using Shad CN. You can also select like specific visual styles and aesthetics. I'm going to go ahead and try putting in glass morphism and see what happens since it's so popular with the latest liquid glass styles. You can choose specific color schemes and themes. I'm going to stick with monochromatic and you can even choose layout patterns and typography styles. And so I'm going to go ahead and select monospace and see what happens. So it's funny because it did try to change all of the writing to look like code because I asked it to use a monospace font, but it also captured the glass morphism style within the buttons and the cards, which I think does look pretty interesting. And it also went for a monochromatic blue palette across the page. And so I think prompts like this can really help you generate ideas for what you want your landing page or brand to look like. We generated a ton of landing pages today, but say you wanted to go with this one and kind of polish it up a little bit more. So there are a few things you can do. One thing is you can try going into design mode and design mode will allow you to pixel push, change specific fonts and move things around as you wish. So for example, if I want to change the size of my heading one and make it even bigger, I can click on it and then click on this drop down here and I can make it as big as I want. And so there are a lot of little things you can do by using design mode. You can basically go in and micromanage the entire design and make all the little tweaks that you want to make it perfect. Another thing you can do is you can select these specific parts and ask V0 to move them around for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this icon and say, move the how it works icons under the number. And so now it has the context that I'm talking about this specific icon, and hopefully you'll be able to move all the icons below the number. I'm not a huge fan of this change, but I was really easily able to try it out to see how it looked. So notice how now the numbers are above the icons. When you're done with your landing page, it's super easy to deploy it instantly. You can go ahead and hit the publish button and then click deploy to production. This will generate a link that you can share with people and you can even customize the domain. What have you been building with V0? Let me know in the comments below.